Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. What an exciting episode. We've got some great captures to preview with you, as well as some new Most Wanted persons. Stay tuned for Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Last August, it was reported by the United Communities Volunteer Fire Department that they had a former member, Mark Willie, who had been removed from the company. To date, Mr. Willie has failed to return a Motorola monitor, a pager, and a charger, all valued at $800, and a yellow winter parka valued at $250 to the fire company. Despite several attempts to recover the items, Willie's never returned them. Mr. Willie was living at an address at 321 Oregon Road in Stevensville, but he since has been evicted. Neighbors reported that he may have relocated to Alabama, but an investigation shows that he may still be here in Maryland. If you have any information on Mark Philip Willie, you're urged to contact authorities as soon as possible. Mark is five foot, seven inches tall, 146 pounds, and his last known address, as we stated, was 321 Oregon Road in Stevensville. He has been charged with theft of $1,000 to $10,000. Your tip in locating this guy is extremely important to us. Also, he's very frequent to ride motorcycles and participate in motorcycle club organizations. In 2011, Brian E. Bailey was convicted on a controlled dangerous substance with intent to distribute charge and placed on supervised probation for three years. In November of 2013, he was arrested in Prince George's County for driving while revoked and several other traffic charges. Following the Prince George's County arrest, Bailey then failed to show three times for his probation office visits and a circuit court bench warrant was issued on January 10, 2014. Bailey's last known address was 1654 Foolish Pleasure Court in Annapolis. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're urged to contact local authorities or Annapolis. I'm very proud to report that members of my office have been working very hard to locate our fugitives. Also, aided by this were the tips that we received from this program as well as your Facebook tips. It's amazing when we put something out there on Facebook, the volume of tips that are generated. Our first guy that was captured is Larry Jean Smith. He was wanted on a violation of probation warrant, reference to a fatal accident, and he was taken into custody in Prince George's County. The next one was John Sherman Ross Jr. He was tracked down in Western Maryland on a 2007 warrant. This next capture is one of those people that so many of you followed on our Facebook feed as well as YouTube. This guy snubbed his nose at law enforcement and every one of our tipsters out there who gave us credible information. He completely laid low, but I'll tell you one thing, when we vow to catch somebody and we have the determination of the community to help us out, David Allen Coleman is a prime example of those persons who are taken into custody. This guy avoided capture by keeping a low profile in Delaware. Your tips and our surveillance resulted in his arrest. He was taken into custody in Caroline County on a beautiful Saturday afternoon a few weeks ago. Thanks to your tips and thanks to the information from all of our viewers on finally arresting David Allen Coleman. Issued in 1991 for a violation of probation charge on an attempted theft charge, Mr. Manning returned on his own from South Carolina after contacting us about our warrant. He came in and turned himself in. A really good job to our staff, Christy Condi, who helped facilitate the closure of this warrant. And again, Mr. Manning for doing the right thing. Joseph Ferdinand Pisterio Sr. is one on a failure to appear for a non-support hearing in August of 2012. Pisterio is a white male, six foot one inches tall, weighs 240 pounds. He has brown eyes and he's balding with brown hair. Records show he has a scar on his left elbow and a tattoo on his right arm. He's believed to be living in the Delaware area, possibly in Dover or the Cheswold area. He is also known to have prior addresses in Bel Air, Maryland. If you have any information on this guy, you're urged to call us. It's also been reported that Pistorio is working as a pizza delivery guy or working at a fast food restaurant. Tip to you guys, get your food before you make that call to us. Then let's get this guy locked up. On October 26, 2013, Deputies were called to a residence on Bayside Drive in Stevensville for a physical domestic. Dispatch advised the suspect had left in a gold-colored Camry and one of the responding units was able to locate the vehicle and stop the car in the area of Bay City Road 
and identified the driver as William David Dorman. Investigation of the incident revealed that Dorman had come to his ex-girlfriend's residence unannounced and then entered the residence with a key. He then confronted a male visitor there and a fight began with Dorman being forced out of the residence. At the time, no charges were desired, but on December 7th, the victim made an application for a warrant charging him with a second degree assault. David Dorman is reported to be living in the Mega Vista Beach area of Anne Arundel County. He's a white male in his mid thirties, five foot six inches tall, 130 pounds with blonde hair and green eyes. If you have any information on this guy, you're urged to contact us or Anne Arundel County. Back in 2007, the victim in this case made arrangements to have his 1954 truck restored at a business called Old School Restoration. Located at that time in Queen Anne's County, the owner of the business was Alan Keith Lagasse. He was asked to do the restoration for approximately $20,000, but taking $10,000 up front with the job to take potentially one year. Now, a year later, the victim finds out that the business is closed. Mr. Lagasse has relocated and the truck has been stolen. When asked for a police report on the theft, the victim was told that the theft had not been reported. Lagasse claimed the truck had been stolen from his business. However, he had never reported this theft to the police. After being reviewed by the state's attorney's office, Detective Bassaro from the sheriff's office followed up the investigation, which resulted in an arrest warrant being issued with two counts of theft over $500 and theft scheme. Alan Lagasse is 51 years old. He's a white male. He's five foot 11 inches tall, 240 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. At the time he was residing on Shore Acres Road in Arnold and may still have ties to persons there, but last known to be in the Virginia Beach area. Just a word of caution, if you're having any vehicle restored, it's extremely important to make sure that you use a very reputable business. Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted would not be successful without you, the viewer. We always appreciate the tips and information that you provide leading to successful conclusions of some of those most wanted persons. You, the viewer, has made Queen Anne's County one of the safest places in Maryland to reside. Thanks to you, thanks to all your tips. Let's continue to keep Queen Anne's County a safe and enjoyable community for all of us. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.